A warm welcome back to Stone Valley for episode 21 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm up at the store. As you've just seen, um, I was, well, everyone was over on field six. Field 17 is now planted. I put canola in that as well. So I've got canola in 17 and the big part of three. Barley in the lower part of three. And I've just done corn planting in um, field six. So that's all good to go. So now we turn our attention to the potatoes on field 11 the contract that I took on at the end well during last the last episode so field 11 harvesting I've got loads of fertilizing contracts that will come up field 29 still has not popped up although it does show as having oats in it now um, so maybe that will pop back on I don't know um, 136 thousand now there is a method to my madness here I hope a lot of people over the last um, week or so have been sending me pictures and messages regarding some of the big fields on this map stone valley with potatoes or sugar beet harvest paying out you know big sums now i'm playing on normal if you're on easy economy obviously that's going to be more you know depends how you go about it now the beauty with this map as well as you've already seen from doing sugar beet is we can sell sugar beet and potatoes at the um, biogas plant which means we can make way more money so here's the method to my madness it's going to take me a long time I'm going to lease two extra um, potato harvesters. I've borrowed one for the contract from the farmer. Um, I'm going to lease two more. That's going to cost a lot of money, and it's also going to cost a lot because we're going to go well over an hour. Well over an hour. So the extra leasing fees are going to be quite high. However, once we complete the contract, take that off of what we're going to make on the contract, that's fine. But I'm hoping we're going to have so much potato spare left over that potato we can then sell at the biogas plant for 900 per thousand litres so we should should easily make back the money we've paid out for on the potato harvesters does that kind of make sense um i mean it could all turn out to be an absolute nightmare it could be horrible now, this is going to take a long time so i'm not quite sure when i'm going to get finished but we're going to start now so into the store Let's go to potato technology. I'm still baffled why over the course, the span of FS17, FS19, that the only potato harvester we've got is this. Um, bearing in mind when I was at Agritechnica last year doing Farm Simulator League and seeing all the stuff that Grimmer and there were loads of companies that do potato stuff, even Grimmer themselves, they do bigger stuff than this. Um, I don't know why, I mean, I suppose they don't expect people to do massive potato harvest, do they? So... 25 grand a pop per operating hour 10 grand it's not going to be cheap this is going to cost us a lot of money so let's lease one lease two so we've got three you know if all if it all goes to to pot and it doesn't work and it all becomes an absolute nightmare i know i'm going to be unloading these constantly because the other downside with these as well is they've only got a nine thousand. 900 or something less than 10,000 anyway 10,000 litre capacity let's get the beacons on um, so I'm going to be unloading these constantly the other thing I've got I'm going to try to do first 
is the first 250,000 litres that come off the field I'm going to put into storage. I'm going to put in my silo and we'll store it. The rest will then go towards the contract. That's a good point actually because the one thing I didn't look at on the contract was... Right, North Cell Point, which is here, is where it's got to be brought to. Which is straight along this main road from Field 11. So that's no problem. Um, yeah, so 250,000 litres I will take and put into storage. The rest I will bring here to the cell point. Until we hit contract complete... Oh, I'm really worried about those having... Oh, mind you, I suppose I've got my 140,000 litres of space in my trailers. Plus there's the trailer that I got as borrowed from the contract. But that's a small one. That's only a 48,000, I think. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. Um... I'm not sure when this is going to post because, like I say, this is going to be another one of those jobs that for a video that may be anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour long or however it ends up, how long it ends up being could take me six hours to make. <laughs> um, I'm going to check as well before the next episode. Or I might put it up on the edit on here how many hours I'm up to now. The last time I checked I was on like 25 hours but I've put in a load more since then. Um... Yeah, so I'm just curious, and obviously the the contract situation is a little bit mad. So I haven't between recording the last episode and posting and recording this one, I haven't been on to check my comments. So if anyone has commented about contracts and haven't they done and that kind of thing, I haven't had a chance to get on there, um, and it's only just posted now anyway while I'm recording. So I think we'll see what happens. That's the the point. Um, I was looking up online actually potato jokes and I thought all the way through this episode I'd just drop in potato jokes here and, here and there but I don't know if that might drive people bonkers <laughs> but I, I like doing your dad joke here and there so it might be quite cool to chuck in some potato jokes the first one obviously that you've already seen is obviously the, uh, the thumbnail now what I'm worried about is I'm thinking each strip it's going to be an unload every strip isn't it Let's get that one going. Let's go back and get the other one. So, third harvester on the field. Uh, harvest one, one and two are both full. <laughs> Which I'll go and empty in a minute. Oh, now I'm missing a strip. That's just typical. Um, let's move this over a little bit. This, this really is going to be unbelievable. So, like I say, I just thought that the best way of getting through it, for everyone involved, it's just going to be a bit of light, a light humour, you know, that's what we need, it's just a bit of humour. Is there any kids watching? If you've got a favourite potato joke, stick it in the comments and <laughs> let us know. Um, so, here's the first one. Oh, this is going to be terrible and I apologise. What's the difference between a hot potato and a flying pig? One's a heated yam, the other is a yeeted ham. I love the word yeet, I don't know why. The first time I ever heard that was my nephew. He kept saying yeet all the time for everything. Um, and there's a funny story behind that. I'm trying to think what company it was. My friend sent me a... He's, he's quite an active um, an active shooter. He goes out, he uh, does rifle shooting, lever action rifle shooting and stuff in the UK. Um, and there was a company that put out to their customers because they were going to to name one of their new... Um, I think it was new pistol they were making. And I think the one that won it was the Yeet Cannon. I'm pretty sure that when he sent me the thing, that was the one, uh, that was what they were going to call it, the Yeet Cannon. I know people use that phrase all the time now on computer games and stuff like that, but I'll have to see if I can find out what it was. But anyway, that's the first one. <laughs> I will intersperse these throughout. There won't be too many, don't worry. The next one coming up so maybe chuckle, but I won't do that for a little while. But I have a few here, so... <laughs> if you are already despairing, just think I've got to do all of that. I need something to keep me smiling. Um, I blame you, subscribers, you guys out there, all the people that commented and sent me messages saying, I'm going to take on this contract, I'm going to do this, what do you reckon, should I do this, or look how much this pays out. And I, I knew, as soon as I got the first ones, there was no way I was going to not do one. <sighs> right, so what I'm going to do, stop that there, going to go and get one of the lorries, unload all three, and then get them all rolling again. Ah. <sighs> Happy days. This reminds me of that Christmas. 
that Christmas where I spent most of Christmas Eve doing a harvest and that was on Shellington on FS17 that was the first modded map we got on FS17 wasn't it I'm sure it was um, and that Christmas I think Christmas Eve I hit 150 subscribers it's madness madness to think where I've come since then so this is the lovely little lorry that I was provided with as part of the contract. Considering how many potatoes we're going to get off this, oh, it's not even going to scratch the surface, is it? I'll try and keep a tally as well of how much we deliver. This is... I've already unloaded a bit because the first harvester I used down the bottom end of the field to get me a headland, so turning around should be okay. Um, so this isn't the first unload, but it's the first unload on the screen. So this is the first of many... Uh, like, I'm not going to show them all, you know, there'll be a few bits, there might be a little bit of time lapse here and there. We'll cut back every now and again when I'm certain sections across the field. And you'll probably find that as we progress, my sanity will gradually evaporate. <laughs> Hasn't got far to go, has it? Let's be honest. So, while well, this one empties, I will see you in a little while for more potato-themed hilarity. Looking forward to it. Update. This is where we are. Well, I'm here um, with a worker trying to put in um, some extra sections simply because um, this top bit they keep stopping before they get there. So I'm just, I'm working on the top section. The two harvesters are up and down. Have we got another full grain tank? This is constant. Money has dropped. This is going to cost me a lot. But I'm hoping, like I said, we're going to make that back. Um, we are currently sitting on 15% complete. But that's because I haven't delivered any yet either. And in storage, I have already stored... 280,000 litres. So I've got 250,000 litres in one storage and I remembered I've got the multi-fruit extension at the other farm which is another 75. So we should be up to 325,000 litres once that's full. That will all be stored then I will start delivering. Um, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, I suppose, I mean for you it's only been a few minutes but for me it's um, been a little while so it's probably time for another potato joke don't you think? It's got to be in it really. Okay. There was a potato hiding competition and I won because my carbo hide rate was good. You're welcome. Right, I'm going to carry on and I'll see you much later on with another potato based joke, hopefully. And we'll be a bit further on or we are going to start losing the lights 10 to 6. So, yeah, don't know. When I see you later on, it could be pitch black. It's not so good. Never mind. It is going. I, mean, I thought we cleared loads, but now looking at it, and we got all that over there as well. <laughs> okay.
Right, just before 7pm. The light is going, hasn't gone completely. To say this is soul destroying is <laughs> probably an over exaggeration. Um, the one big difference between doing this and any of the other contracts I have done the sugar beet harvester with the um, larger header meant with two harvesters running you could do it way quicker. With three running on here is wonderful, but it's still taking a long, long time. Plus, because it's got such a small tank, you're having to unload so much more often, you can't actually do anything else. So, whereas normally, if I'm going to do jobs you know, off screen, contracts in between episodes, that kind of thing, um, I might do a few chores around the house, I might, you know, do a bit of editing, I might, you know, research, whatever it might be. I can't because I can't leave the harvest for more than a couple of minutes at a time before one of the three harvesters is full again and needs emptying. Um, that's one of the big differences. Now I have got the lorries on the field, again because of the amount of times I've got to unload. It, it would be, I mean as well as the fact that there's no auger that will take sugar bit of potato, other than like I said the, the Terra Dos one. Um, I am now full up to 325,000 litres in storage, so it's all been stored. I've unloaded two lots of 140,000. Oh, I should have been keeping on track of that, shouldn't I? Um, just only thought of that. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at with regard to how much has been harvested, what's been delivered. As far as contract complete, we're only sitting at, so far, 29 <laughs> percent uh it will speed up it will um like i say it's, it's my own choice to do it i'm you know i'm not, not complaining i'm not blaming anybody it just is what it is it takes a long time i was looking thinking i've got to be halfway by now across this field no nope, still not um i have been seriously considering with leasing another <laughs> another harvester and just saying to myself you know what i'll pick up a fertilizing contract or something to cover it when all this is done I'll pick up another contract um, so potentially yeah I'm still tied in this end uh, I haven't got it all done yet I've got the straight up that way I'm just doing this corner here um, then I can go down and start clearing up the other end headland so the harvesters then can just run and then have a problem and again I've been what three four minutes if that and they're both at 80% full again so it's not going to take long anyway this segment we need a joke, don't we? Why did the sea monster eat 12 ships that were carrying potatoes? Because nobody can eat just one potato ship. Again, you're welcome. I know, you're probably losing the wills to live as well now. Um, there we go, full grain tank on one of the other ones, so I'm off again. I've got more unloading to do. Um, it will probably be dark next time I see you then. I want to try and get to at least 50% contract complete, even if it's not 50% of the field complete, um, before I see you next. So, like I say, it's going to be a little while. I've said that every single time I've done a bit of recording. It's going to be a little while. And that it will be. The other thing I'm really concerned about is losing speed and yield and stuff if... Um, the vehicles need maintenance so I might have to one at a time drop them out of rotation whiz them down to the farm because I don't own any of the land up here I thought what I'll do is just put um, actually I could put a toolbox mod at the BGA couldn't I and just whiz them down to the BGA do a bit of repair that might not be a bad idea
it's just gone 5 to 10. That's right, 5 to 10. I'm playing in real time, remember? Oh dear, everything is looking rather messy. Um, each one of the harvesters has been repaired once. Um, I did put a little toolbox just over the BGA. Where do I st stand at the moment? Other than in a massive field bereft of potatoes. Well, I have so far delivered for the contract 1,260,000 litres. I've done nine loads of 140,000. Plus the 325,000 litres I've got in storage. Plus the little lorry over there that's got 48,000 litres in it. But here's the kicker. All I've done is the main section. I've got to do all of this now. Which actually, when you think about it, or I'm, I'm hoping to convince myself, that's actually not too bad um, compared to what we've done already. Um, I was really hoping to have this done before midnight so I could deliver some and make a bit of money. Which reminds me, don't forget, at midnight we're going to get another payment from the sugar beet we did yesterday. Well, no, we did it today, didn't we? But after midnight. So we should get another payment. Which is lucky, because I'm hemorrhaging cash. Um, I really hope this th this pays out really well, that we have an absolute load of sugar beet, uh, uh, potato left over, because this has cost me so far way, 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 way more. I knew it was going to take a few hours. I thought maybe three, possibly, I don't know, but it's taken a long time. So, uh, actually, what I'm going to do, turn the engine off on that, um, and grab one of these and I'm going to now take them one at a time so the beacon's on fold it up why is that not folding up there we go over the bridge over the other side and then we can carry on I don't like I, say, I don't like recording much in the dark because you can't see very much from apart from the lights. So if you're showing off the lights on vehicles and that kind of thing, it's rather nice. But other than that, it's not so good. Um, oh yeah, must be time for another one, mustn't it? Of course it is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know. What, I think it's delirium. Um, I, I'm just absolutely losing my mind. Um, what do you call a fake potato? an imitator I'm so sorry okay well I'm hoping then really I'm hoping the next time that there's a turning here isn't there that takes me into the field this way I've never actually used it but I'm sure there's a little I thought there was again probably yeah just lose my mind why did I think there was a... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, either there'll be a screenshot will come up um, at midnight for the payment we get at midnight, or I'll have finished the field. I really hope I'm done within two hours. Honestly, I really... T <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll set this one off, although to be fair, this one will be full before I even get back and get in the next one because that's what they do I'm going to run a strip straight across this way like I say for the amount of time put in I could have just spent the time rolling through fertiliser contracts doing a couple of harvests that kind of stuff and possibly made the same sort of money I certainly would have lost this much money. But if this turns out like I deliver everything for the contract and I'm left with 500,000 litres of potatoes, then absolutely it's been well worth it. If I'm left with 50,000 litres of potatoes, not so much. <laughs> so, um, I, like I say, I really am hoping this pays out incredibly well. But we shall see. As far as contract completed then, we are now at... where are we? 
82% complete. Like I say, I have delivered loads of the products already. I think we're up to 60% delivered as well. So, realistically, yeah, we shouldn't be that far off. I don't know. <laughs> oh. It's seven minutes to midnight, and as you've just seen, contract complete. I was still harvesting while the contract completed. You honestly couldn't make this up. I delivered 1,588,000 litres. I did 11 loads of 140,000 plus one of these 48,000 litres. Um, what I've actually got for me left over this is where you couldn't make it up. 325,000 litres in storage. This 48,000 litres here. 140,000 litres over in the double trailer setup. And about 5,000 litres left in one of the harvesters. That comes in at 518,000 litres. So I'm going to tip what I can now. So over the next six minutes. <laughs> the BJ can digest what I'm putting in now. I'm going to bring over the... Um, 140,000 litres, if I can get some over here and get some tipped in. 
Um, so at midnight we'll get a little bit of this and we'll get some of the sugar beet from yesterday as a payment and then what I'll do is spend the rest of the night offloading just bringing over all the potato and putting it through the digester so then tomorrow night at midnight we'll get another payout um, I am amazed at how much was left over when I said oh, it would be great to have about 500,000 litres when you look at how much we've spent we're down to 443 I think we started on 600 and something um, the harvesters, the least one, not the least one, the borrowed one, was already on 50 something hours when we got it. The ones that I leased are sitting on six hours. That's how long they've been in operation. I mean, to be fair, that's not including the time they were stopped when I was like, unloading and doing stuff. So I will check when I do the edit, but it's in excess of six hours it's taken me to do this. Um, there you go. So I'm going to go and grab the big trailer, um, swap over, take that back. I see you turning. Nope, straight along. Oh, he's turning. But I need to unload that last 5,000 litres out of the harvester. So I'll whiz over and get that done. Like I said, I, I try to avoid doing stuff in the dark. I know it's not ideal. Especially if you're watching on a mobile phone or something like that, but this is the time the harvest finished. I didn't want to just skip through to the morning and say, "Oh, by the way, I finished everything." Seems a little bit disingenuous when you do that. So, let's get over. Where do I leave it all in the end? It's all in the middle of the field. So everything completely harvested. That's, I'm not doing potatoes for ages now, that's it. I'm done with potatoes for a while. I think I lined them all up. So the three harvesters are lined up. There we go. Last five going in there. Turn that off. Let's grab this. And get this unloaded. Um, and then we'll see what we've made at midnight as well anyway, so... Oh. oh, while we're on the way back, I suppose we'll be getting this segment's potato joke, haven't we? <laughs> I know you're loving it, even though you're pretending it's annoying you. So, a red tractor turned into a field of potatoes. It was clearly a magic tractor farming related as well that one not just potato based oh, I need sunlight I need daylight <laughs> I need daylight and no potatoes so I'm going to very quickly disconnect from the dolly this is the last load I'm going to get in before midnight because it's going to take I've already put 40,000 litres in this old 70 and the whole thing only holds 100 so I'm not going to get any more in before the midnight cut off. That's if I even get this in before midnight. I really am still surprised there are no lights. I mean there's a little light there at the BGA but no other lighting. But come on, come on, right. Let's get that in. Now, I could have bought some of this over earlier. Um, as I was getting near the end of the contract, I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to have some left over. But it's always a gamble. I didn't want to, and then find I was short, you know. 23.59. BJ's full. We are unloading. <laughs> please, 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 let this be good. Now I can't complete the contract until I've bought over the other lorry because the lorry was borrowed, that's part of the contract. So I have to be careful at this point. I don't get overexcited and complete the contract to get all the money I can get back. Um, I'm hoping this brings me up somewhere around 600,000. <laughs> please, please, I can't take it. the longest minute ever. J 
just amuse yourselves. 223 grand biogas plant income. 656 grand. Oh, okay. So, we've then got all the rest of the potato that I've got in storage and what's in this trailer. That's going to be processed through. That will come midnight tonight. I've also got... Oh, I've still got my soybean, haven't I? I've got 130,000 litres of soybean that we harvested. Prices are climbing again. The west sell point was climbing. Stopped at 1583. Not bad, but I'm going to leave that in storage for the time being. And obviously all of our fields are prepped again and are in the process of growing. So, what I will do now is see you in the morning with a bit of sunshine. Hopefully no rain. Um... Oh, it's been emotional. <laughs> oh, of course the money will go up a bit again, won't it? Because I've got the money for the contract, which will be 130 grand, won't it? Oh, look at that. Leasing costs 51 grand. That was just over the last hour, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Ah, <sighs> well... <laughs> oh, no, that's for the... the whole period, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> right. Let's go and get this other one. Uh, where are we? Out this way. Daylight! Oh, how I've missed you. It's nearly seven o'clock in the morning and I'm over to collect another load of potatoes. Um, I haven't processed all of them yet. Um, it is still processing. There's a full trailer over there, or just under a full trailer that's unloaded at the moment. This one was empty, so I came back to grab it. Of the total 518,000 we had, all the stuff that was in trailers is all gone, and the stuff that was in storage, the 325,000 litres, I'm now down to 54,025, plus the 70,000 here, plus the bit in the trailer. So that's going to be processing over the course of the day. Um, but what I thought I would do actually as I was coming past here and it's early in the morning, I say early, it's not that early but early-ish I thought we'd clean out the animals um, I, in all honesty oh as you've seen as well, a couple of fertilising contracts I just wanted to get us just over 800,000 I was just sitting just below 786 or something I thought, you know what, just for my own state of mind I mean uh, as it turned out are there quicker and easier ways of making that kind of money? Yes, we've already seen it, I say quicker and easier, you've still got to put a load of time in, you, you know, to do all the fertilising contracts that I do when the money builds up. I suppose, I don't know, it's a tricky one, isn't it? We made the money for the contract, which I think pretty much covered our leasing fees and stuff. Where we're going to make the money won't happen until midnight tonight, because I've delivered all the potato we had to spare. That's where we're going to make our money. Was it worth the eight hours it took to do it? I don't know, that's up to you to decide, isn't it? It's eight hours on one job, or maybe a few hours less, but a load of hours on loads of separate jobs. I suppose the only difference between doing one big job like that, it does get really monotonous, and it can get a little bit, <laughs> a little bit much. In all honesty, it doesn't bother me. It didn't bother me. I didn't do it all in one sitting. I did it in a few different, you know, I had to. Otherwise, I really would have gone insane. But that kind of making sure you don't miss anything especially when it got dark as well keeping everything rolling keeping everything running i just enjoyed doing it so yeah it's all good um the next job on the farm what i have also done i've changed my settings growth has been on fast for quite a while and i kind of got the feeling i'm rolling through the harvest way too quick i mean maybe i'm not it depends how you look at it but now i've got more fields as well if every single day I'm harvesting bomb, 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 you know. So I've put it onto normal. That may still be a little bit too quick. Maybe on slow would be a better option, I don't know. But I've put it onto normal. We'll see how we go. Um, so all my fields will be ready at some point. Animals, we have actually got some new births. Um, of our original 36 Angus, we've now got 38, so we had two. Uh, one the other day, I forgot to mention, and then one last night. And then our Ayrshire's. Um, we had another one. Um, everything is piling up. We've got uh, 32,000 litres of manure, 20,000 litres of slurry, 12,000 litres of milk with the Ayrshire's, and with the Angus we've got 2,955. That will be moved over, and we'll talk about that in a second. 
26,000 litres of slurry and 15,000 litres of milk. So it all, all piling up. I do need to do their straw and feed and a few other things, but what I thought I would do was clear them out. Now it's interesting because this side they need to be mucked out, the other side they don't. And when I put all of my um, manure into that other building, the main reason I did that was because I didn't have any animals across the way there, so I didn't bother. But directly opposite, as you can see, there's um, a, a pit, a silo, a bunker, whatever you want to call it, for the manure. So what I've been doing is when I clear out here, I take it over there, put it all in one place, and then it just next time it rolls over and registers, it will all be... That's why there's so much more in the Ayrshire's manure than there is with the Angus, because I've been putting it all in here. So I've got to see, I'll spend a little bit of time. I mean, the, none of their stuff is on critical. I haven't got to worry about anything um, running out immediately, but I wanted to make sure they're mucked out so as productive as they can be. So that's the animals kind of dealt with. I do need to do a bit of straw here and there and things. What I'm also thinking of doing as well is the bunker silo behind the lorry um, with all the silage in. I'm thinking about clearing that bunker silo out and putting the silage into storage. And then that gives me the potential at some point, because I've got a cornfield, I'm going to do a silage harvest on the corn, but I need to be able to put it somewhere. Now, I could put it at the, bu the bunker side of the biogas plant, um, but what I'd rather do is bring it here. That's just a personal preference as well. Um, so what we'll do is we'll grab this. Lorry needs some work, the traders need jet washing. I'll get on to that in a little while. But yeah, like I say, what's going to happen over the course of today, not this episode, but the next episode, is um, the section here that we, uh, or I cleared recently, we're going to be doing some work on this bit out here. That's going to be the next step for the farm. I'm going to take this over to the biogas plant. Um, like I say, got no crops to harvest at the moment. I can turn my attention again back to doing um, contracts because there are loads of contracts available so I could juggle having a contract running there's harvest available on field 10 and field 29 has popped back on um, the oats that were showing yesterday did I show that? I can't remember now um, is now showing as ready to harvest so field 29 has bounced back into the contracting section which is very very nice indeed oh, I'm so glad it's light generally speaking I will unless I'm doing contracting all night off screen I try to avoid it. Like I said before, I don't necessarily like um, recording at night. And also I want to buy Field 7 here, which is only about 130 grand, I think, something like that. So maybe do a, one of the harvesting contracts, maybe on Field 29. Uh, yeah, I might do that actually. Do the harvest contract on Field 29 and then buy that field with the proceeds. Or buy the field and then cover the cost. I don't know. Either way around. And I still haven't done my second cut on Field 8 either, so... Loads to do, plenty more coming, more vehicles and machinery to buy, more fields to buy, uh, yeah, loads more happening. But anyway, I know it's a slight bit different, I know some episodes I bounce through and do four or five, six different jobs, this one was pretty much all potato. Um, I've got two jokes to leave you with. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, it's the last two, don't worry, you won't have to hear them anymore. I won't do it ever again, I promise. So, the first one. What do you call a potato with a broom? A sweep potato. They're not getting better, are they? They're getting worse. <laughs> so what I'll do is hook up to this. Just make sure I've unloaded a little bit more. Actually, is this full? This might be completely full, actually. I was saying I had some already gone. I think it might be full. Oh no, 66 too. Let's put a bit more in there. That's taking loads. Ooh, excellent stuff. Fantastic. So to leave you one final one. What do you call an emergency vehicle for potatoes? A yambulance. <sighs> and with that, I'll get me coat. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, 
as always. Thanks for watching.